Okay, Rob, we're going to go through all the books that I have in the collection that I think you'd be interested in. Uh, I'm going to try to get up close to each one and uh, let you see it uh, really good for each one and then get a nice uh, big picture of how many books we're talking about. Okay? So, first one, uh, G8 and his Battle Aces. Uh, disregard the prices on the plastic. They're going to be less if you buy them in bulk. Uh, these are the Killing uh, Italian Fumettis. Uh, very, very rare. Um, here are the Berkeley Medallion Spiders um, back from the early 70s. Then we move on to the, to the early 80s with the Spider... Um, editions from Dimedia, and that's one, two, and three there. And then we go to the Spider Double paperbacks from Carol and Graf, and that's numbers one and eight. And then we move on over here to the Avon books uh, featuring the Phantom. Let me try to get that so it doesn't have a glare so you can see it better. Uh, that's the story of the Phantom. Uh, the Slave Market of Mukar, um, all sorts of them. Um, really cool artwork that I think you really enjoy, um, as well as the stories. Okay, that's the first row. Let's move up here to the second row. And we see uh, High Adventure magazine. These are the mini uh, ones from High Adventure. This is uh, Operator Number Five from High Adventure um, magazine, and then there's Captain Satan. Um, here's the High Adventure version of Captain Future, and then High Adventure also came out with a replica version of some of the Captain Future stories, uh, and those are exactly as they were in the original pulp. Same thing goes with the Phantom Detectives here. that one and then we go over here to this one and now we're getting into the spider double novels uh, very similar to the shadow books uh, in that you get two pulp novels per book uh, really great covers as you can see I kind of have them overlaid there sorry about that and then you get to they did a, uh, Wild Side Press did a single one of the spider. Uh, I also have a spider graphic novel here by Gene Colan and Don McGregor, who used to do uh, a bunch of stuff together, but uh, it's a complete spider story. And then they have a magazine style version that also, I think, it came out from Pulp Adventure. Uh, I'm going to move around up even further onto the bed here. Uh, this is more High Adventure magazines. Uh, this features the Green Llama, as you can see right there. And then there's uh, G8 and his Battle Aces. There's two magazines there. Another Operator 5 from High Adventure. Uh, they also had uh, one of the weird pulps there. Um, this is a book collection of all the Domino Lady stories called Compliments of the Domino Lady. And now we're getting into the stuff that you really wanted to see that I sent you the link of earlier today, uh, the Shadow Magazines, starting off number one here, all the way across, all the way across. Sorry, let me, I'm going to come around here. There, that might be better. How's that? That gives you a better idea of all the books. All 19 of the Shadow Books, uh, only $100. Uh, again, I'm going I'm to give you a, a nice perspective here on how many books we're talking about on this bed. Uh, paperbacks, fumettis, graphic novels, um, original pulp replicas, pulp doubles, um, all sorts of stuff. Stuff I didn't really think you'd like. I know I've enjoyed them all. Uh, but they're ti it's time to go because I have uh, duplicates of a lot of this stuff. So 
If you would, uh, take a look at the video. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'd love to see you on Saturday. Talk to you later. Bye.